Hello and welcome to our craft video. Today we're going to be making the dinosaur pop-up card and um, as you can see I've already cut out all the pieces. Once you've opened your file and cut everything out you will have your base card which is this one. You will have two inserts, um, two panels for the sides of the card, two large tropical leaves for the flaps, a front plaque for the card, uh, three dinosaurs and also the top part of the card which is this one. So the first thing I'm going to, well I've cut everything out using the paper mill cardstock and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some dimension to everything by using the distress inks. So I'll just get um, pieces I need. So we're going to start off with the greens. Okay, right, so for this I'm going to use a blending tool and a Distress Ink Pad, so Evergreen Brook. Okay. Right, if you've not used this technique before, it is a super easy technique. You basically ink up your pad and then using this sort of motion, transfer the ink onto the card. There we just gives a bit more dimension to the card, makes it look that little bit more interesting. There's all the green bits. Um, put that away. Now I'm going to do uh, a little bit of orange on this one. So this is a, actually an oxide ink spiced marmalade. This is the lava coming out the top of the volcano. And we've got our dinosaur. Let's see if I can just find. Okay. Use some vapor wipes to wipe up any excess. So we don't want to um, put colours on that we don't want. Right. So we've got our dinosaur. And then for this one, we're using peacock feathers. Now, I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm changing the blending tool that I'm using so that I've got a colour that matches 
the actual ink that I'm using. Actually, going to use more pinky colour for the pterodactyl. I need to find my pinky pad. Okay. So that one is spun sugar. And our tricep tops. And this one is iced spruce. Right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to add the embellishment onto this piece of card. So all our embellishment this time, oh, well we need to add the three panels onto here. No, just, um, where is it? There we go. So first of all we're going to add the panel. So that goes on the front of the card, like so. And then we're going to use the two side panels in the tropical leaves. So also you can add a number to this part here as well if you want to make it a numbered card, so three or four. And then we're going to add the green, the big green leaves. Now they should fit precisely over. Oh, do you know what I've done here? So I've actually done the wrong side, so I should have done that side. So I'll quickly just...
Right, and then we're going to add the lava at the top. <laughs> Do it on the wrong side again. <laughs> Can you tell it's quite early in the morning? There we go. So, the lesson we've learned today is make sure you're actually inking the right sides of your card. There we go. Right, so we need to add the glue to this side. I'm not sure where all my pit stick has gone. I think my toddler might have decided it was good for his craft projects. So normally I would just use a pit stick for this, but mine seems to have gone warped off. There we go. That's the lava. Right. And then what we need to do is close the card. So I would I would always use double sided sticky tape for this part because I just find it a lot easier. Now what we need to do is just line up the bottom part. Top part like so there we go. Right. So you've got the box part of your card that closes. Now what we need to do is add the inserts. So fold these back. And again, I would actually always use double sided stick tape for this part because it's just easier for me to have um, something that doesn't need drying time for this part. But you can use whatever you find easiest. Right, so I'm going to add this in here. The second one. There we go. Right. Stick that bit in. I'm just lining them up by eye, but if you get one eye, one side attached, is you can always then fold it, and it will. Whoops, it is. It will find its own level. And then I always like to flatten it as well at this point, just to make sure that it is getting the results we want. Right, there we go. And now all that's left to do is stick our dinosaurs on. is a diplodocus. My son would be able to tell us. And he goes just there. And then, last but not least, the pterodactyl. I think I'm just going to use a sticky dot for him. Because... There we go. Because that makes it super duper easy. Right. Oh, 
Okay. And he goes just by the lava. There we go. So that is the card all done. Thank you for watching.